In this section of the course, we're going to cover time effect plugins, and we'll start off with reverb. Reverb lets you apply reverberation to the audio signal, creating a sense of room or space. You'll typically want to use reverb on the send, but in this example, we're using it across our drum bus, which basically means that we're going to keep our mix volume low. And for this example, I'm using preset number 10, which is the vintage setting. But again, we'll keep our mix volume low and listen to our drums. The first place you want to start when adjusting reverb parameters is the balance control. And this allows you to set a balance between the early reflections and the reverb tail. So right now we're only listening to the early reflections. Early reflections are simulated in reverb by using multiple delay taps at different levels. This allows our brain to detect different spaces. And here you have different early reflection types. Let's listen to some of these. Notice that the booth setting sounds smaller. You can also adjust the spread, which is the length of the early reflections. And now let's blend in some of the dry signal. Now you can also adjust the input width, output width, and delay. So if you want the incoming signal going into the delay to be a little bit narrower, they can turn it the opposite direction. By turning the input width to the left, you get a little bit more of a narrow sound going into the reverb. You can also apply some delay. So if we compare small studio to room, they both sound small, but they have different early reflection characteristics, as well as booth. Let's try some of the larger ones. And lastly, we have Vintage 1 and Vintage 2. So these two simulate digital reverbs. I like these as my favorite ones.
Different physical environments have different early reflection signatures that our ears and brain use to localize sound. These reflections affect our perception of the size of the space as well as where the audio is coming from. Changing early reflection characteristics changes the perceived location of the reflecting surfaces surrounding the audio source. So it's good practice to set your early reflections first and then adjust the reverb tail. Now that you understand how the early reflections work, let's move on to the reverb controls.